everyone, uh, down in Cardiff today, and uh, in a couple of empty properties again, cleaning some carpets. So Andrew Bayeux is going away doing his carpet cleaning. As you can see, we've got uh, the big guns out to play. So we're doing a hallway and a stairs carpet in this particular property. Andrew now is across the hall from the two side. He's now extracting the water out of the carpet, which will enable the carpet then to pretty much be left. Uh, just a little bit damp but be born dry then within uh, about two hours so the drying time is really quick because what we do is once we clean the carpet we run the machine back and forth back and forth and we extract out as much water as we possibly can now the drying times on upholstery and stuff like that it can be or even if you get a rug and you get a deep pile rug can be a little bit longer like if we had a deep pile rug to do uh, you know, you could say uh, probably about half a day to a day to dry. Now, if we do an upholstery, you can imagine a cushion can be about that thick. So, uh, even though, yet again, we will extract out as much of the chemical and as much of the water and residue as we can, but it will still take uh, between a day and day and a half to dry, depending on the humidity in the house, how warm it is, and so forth. Uh, but about a day to day and a half is realistically for your sofas to dry. Now, what we always say is with the sofas, if it's removable cushions, naturally you want to sit in them so you can get them dry quicker. Is once we clean them, prop them up against the radiator, turn them every couple of hours, you'll find they'll be born dry within about three to four hours. And then the carpet itself, because it's uh, it's only thin, it's not much cushion behind it, they'll be dry there again, like the carpet's in about two hours, so then you're able to sit in them in the evening, which is what you guys want. Uh, so if you are looking to get your carpets cleaned and you want a company which you could trust, then why not pop on to our Clean and Fresh page, have a look, uh, have a look at our reviews, uh, see what we're all about, see what we're going to offer you guys. As I said, there's been previous videos, we put loads of videos up, and I put loads of videos myself about uh, carpet cleaning and ovens and all the other services that we offer, but I am just talking about carpet cleaning today in particular. So if you are looking to get your carpets cleaned, then you know where we are. Now, there are loads of different stains in carpets. Uh, there could be innocent stains, like a bit of squash, a bit of uh, lemonade and coke and stuff like that. There are potent, uh, more potent stains, which are like red wine, a uh, bit of blood, uh, Ribena, uh, Ribena is, can be a nightmare as well, but like a lot of things, if you act on them uh, as soon as possible and call a company like ourselves, we will be able to get this out. If you leave it in for like two, three, four weeks, then ring ourselves. We can, sometimes we can still get it out, but more than likely it'll fade, but you'll never get it out completely. So it's very crucial that when you spill something like that, especially something which is red, and uh, you tr try and act in it straight away. And I will throw a little tip in here, guys, for you. And I have done it uh, quite a few times. I've chucked in some tips. If you do spill some fluid, the uh, and I don't mean about red wine, it's just all ordinary fluids now. Okay, I'll do another tip or on that another, uh, another day. But if you tip something ordinary, like tip a bit of pop, a bit of coke, or something like that, what's the first thing you guys want to do? And everyone does the same thing, you naturally want to rub it into the carpet. You get a damp cloth and you rub it into that carpet and then what you'll find is all you're doing is you're pushing the, uh, the stain then from the surface where it originally was and you're embedding it into the underlay. So which can be a bit of a nightmare then uh, because obviously when we come out then we've got to try and uh, spend a little bit longer than I need to draw it out, which nonetheless we can still do it. But for you guys, if you uh, just spilled some of it, uh, something innocently and you spilled a bit of pop or uh, you know anything really then the best thing you guys can do is get a damp cloth you just put it on the surface and just dab it dab it along just literally dab it along the surface for about two to three minutes go to the sink get some warm water rinse that cloth out go back do it again repeat this process for about four to five times and then on the last one then go again to your kitchen put it under the tap rinse it out again at that time you can go to the carpet and then give it a light rub with a cloth and most innocent sustains then you'll find will be completely removed because what you guys do and what you don't realize and you probably are you're probably familiar with this you, you rub it into the carpet and you think oh the stain is gone it's great next day you get up all of a sudden wait there that stain has reappeared it's as simple as this because you've rubbed it it's pushed it into the underlay. So you've got, the, got it off the surface of the carpet and it looks fab for a day or so. Then what happens is then, because the underlay is still wet and it's taking longer to dry, it's pushed it right the way back through and it lays back on the top of the carpet. So as I said, the best thing to do is never ever rub um, a stain. What you want to do is get a damp cloth and dab it on the surface four or five times, you know, rinse in the cloth out in between 
and then giving it a light rub at the end. And what you'll find is most of the innocent stains will be removed without leaving a mark there in a day or two's time. But if it does, then obviously get on the phone to someone like ourselves. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna leave it there now. I'm gonna see what Andrew's doing now because he's been coming on the stairs at any moment now. So if you are looking to get your carpets cleaned or your upholstery cleaned or your, your rugs or anything around that area or car seat cleaning or anything like that, then pop on here and inbox us today for price and information. Anyway, it's Monday, um, not the best days of the week. Everyone eats a Monday, eh? Uh, but keep smiling, guys, and we will speak soon.